So what we got going on here, Henry? Um, well, see, like we the flux capacitor has gotten wet with time travel ooze, which is a problem when you, you know, you break through the um, space-time continuum. Not many people really experience this, but since the Jeep is pretty square, the cold rays shoot right through the grill, through the radiator, straight through this funnel defactor into the um, defibrillating flux capacitor here. So basically what we have is, simply put in layman's terms, we have H2O in the distributor, um, or water in your dizzy. So we are removing the dizzy cap for you that do not understand the more scientific lingo. Um, and we are going to dry it out with this here napkin or um, space age insulating um, absorbing material. Um, yes, yeah, see we have uh, space flux in there. So that's gotta go. A little bit of flux will cause you a lot of problems as you break the, um, the continuum. It, basically like you can't get up a hill with bucks, sputters, that kind of thing. So we're gonna go ahead and fix that with our uh, insulating, oh yeah, that's still good. Our insulating absorption wipes. And before you know it, this baby will be up and chirping gears and sending Biff right back to the car detail. Okay, well that one's pretty clean. So I'm starting to wonder if it's underneath the flux capacitor here. So we're gonna go ahead and pull off the dingle rod cap electrifying thingy. Again, for layman's, this would be called a, uh, a rotor. Although it looks nothing like a brake rotor for it's not round, but I guess it does rotational things and it makes pretty light jump to these little tabs. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and pull off the uh, flux ring here. Take a look under it too. Flux ring looks good. Not really too wet. You may have another problem, may not be our flux ring. Could be the water that's dripping out of the flux ring's um, connector. Come here, little buddy. Oh my gosh, it's so wet. The flux ring looks to be in good condition, which means that the permafrost didn't get to it, so that's good. She's sealed that tight. I'm gonna go ahead and connect the, that back on and uh, reassemble the flux capacitor. See, I learned all this from Zach. Zach actually taught me all this. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't know what I was doing. But he's upgraded to a um, flux capacitorless ignition system. His is uh, in the middle of his flux capacitor. His flux capacitor is in the middle of his flux capacitor. Right. So we're gonna go ahead and reassemble this bad boy. We're gonna turn our um, defibrillating rod to the um, back in time position. I'm sorry, that's forward time. That's back in time. For whatever reason, we always will do that. And then we're gonna tighten up their screws. Keep the, uh, oh, see, it went back in the future thing setting. Oh, I hate that. All right, it's a problem with time travel. You know, everything's backwards. All the space flux all over this thing is really causing a problem. It, it appears to be mud, but it's not. Um, some think it's cow patties. Uh, others uh, know what it is and they can kind of call you out and make sure you didn't mess with the cast in the future. But uh, for us that, you know, do this, it's just more of a kind of a fun thing to play in, the space flux. All right, this, the distributor is back together. I had some space flux on my knuckles and on my clothes. The whole part of the time travel gig, I guess. All right, fire up the flux capacitor and let's see if this machine flies. <laughs> 